सो दीज आर द न्यू मार्केटिंग रियलिटीज विच नीड्स टू बी नोन टू अ मार्केटर टेक्नोलॉजी ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड द सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी न्यू बज वर्ड्स इन द मार्केटिंग दैट आर गोइंग टू दैट आर दैट हैव बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ मार्केटर टू टेक्नोलॉजी मैसिव अमाउंट्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड डाटा अबाउट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग आर नाउ अवेलेबल टू कंज्यूमर्स एंड मार्केटर्स द ओल्ड क्रेडो इंफॉर्मेशन इज पावर इज गिविंग वेट टू द न्यू आइडिया दैट शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज पावर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अर्ली इट वॉज सेट दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इज पावर नाउ सेट दैट शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज पावर इवन even traditional marketing activities are profoundly affected by the technology so technology is, has become very important for a marketer now and uh, through technology only the things are going to be communicated in a in effective manner then globalization the world has become a smaller place globalization has made countries to increasingly multiculture and changes innovation and product development as companies take ideas and lessons from one country to apply uh, and apply them to another marketer has to perform in a global uh, global economy means uh, they, they are been uh, facing challenges from the international players also and the change in innovation the change in technology in uh, one country it is going to affect the players in other countries also the social responsibility the private sector is taking some responsibility for improving the conditions the for, uh, and firms are all, uh, all over the world have elevated from the role of corporate social responsibility because marketing affects extend to society as a whole marketers must consider the ethical environmental and legal and social context of their activities that is important social responsibility is a way to differentiate from competitors build consumer preference and achieve notable sales and profit gains so social responsibility is the now important concern for a marketer uh, it may be a government marketer or a, a private sector marketer because all the firms they are now they should be responsible towards the ethics they should be responsible towards the environment they should be responsible to the legal requirements of the uh, of that country and there should also be, there are some social obligations also which needs to be performed so social responsibility uh, is going to be is going to be a main uh, area which is going to differentiate one customer from the uh, one marketer from the other marketer dramatically change marketplace new consumer capabilities now the consumers have new capabilities uh, with regard to that some uh, traditional customers if we are talking about now the modern customers they are the consumers they are using the internet as a powerful information and purchasing aid means uh, what how, whatever they are going to purchase or make make decision about the purchase that is greatly influenced by the information that is going to be provided by the internet they can and through internet they can search they can communicate and purchase on the move means while moving while virtual markets are going to be uh, taking place in the uh, now uh, in the purchase decisions virtual markets have become very important and uh, they uh, the customers can search communication and purchase the product while not visiting the while not physically visiting the marketplace they are going to buy through internet also they can tap into social media to share opinions and express loyalty so that is also important the feedback their comments their suggestions through internet that are going to be shared with the larger audience larger customers and those uh, opinions and feedbacks they carry very very important value for the marketers then social media is an explosive worldwide phenomenon empowerment is not just about technology do customers are uh, consumers are willing to move to another brand if they think they are not been treated right or do it like what they are seeing expanded information communication and mobility enable customers to make better choices and share their preferences and opinions with others around the world then uh, in the new consumer capabilities uh, the customers can actively interact with companies interaction is becoming uh, altogether very very important and upcoming area and they can reject marketing they find inappropriate also the customer is going to take decision if they are they finding anything which is 
not legal which is not being delivered or which is not having the uh, environmental concerns or ethical concerns they may reject that inappropriate marketing efforts also at the same place there are some new company capabilities also which are being generated they can use internet as a powerful information and sales channel individually for differentiated products and uh, services if they want to deliver in differentiated uh, products and services they, they can know the each customer's need individually and individualized uh, products and services can be delivered through internet they can collect fuller and richer information about markets customers prospects and competitors through internet they can reach customers quickly and efficiently via social media and mobile marketing sending uh, target ads coupons and information through the internet then they can improve purchasing recruiting training and internal and external communications uh, then they can also improve cost efficiency uh, cost efficiency can be achieved through the newly developed marketing tools then changing channels now retail transformation is there this intermediation is there retail transformation the retail stores has been uh, you may have witnessed that they have been totally changed and one of the reasons because you would have more choices is that channels of distribution have changed as a result of retail transformation and this intermediation entrepreneurial retailers are building entertainment into their stores with coffee bars demonstrations performances marketing as an experience rather than a product assortment and traditional companies engaged in inter reintermediation and became brick and click retailers adding online services to their offerings and some with plentiful resources and established brand names become stronger content than pure click firms so uh, the retail experience actually has been uh, changed to a to a higher level and and, uh, and the retail transformation are going to offer plenty of services to the customers at while they are going to make a purchase they are like entertainment is going to be there the the coffee bars are going to be there the performances are going to happen there and which are going to make the purchase more convenient and interesting then heightened competition private brands mega brands deregulation and privatization they are also uh, like uh, change the level of competition in the markets so while globalization has created intense competition among domestic and foreign brands the rise of private labels and mega brands and a trend towards deregulation and privatization have also increased competition so presence of these type of labels and mega brands and trend toward deregulation that government interference is going to be less and privatization they have increased competition to a larger extent